all humans, right, are like receivers. We are actually conduits for like energy. If you were to focus on tuning into your own body, you would actually become aware that there is more than just the physical selves. I'm known as like the modern witch. Like being termed that is obviously how like those who are against it look at you. As we grow up, right, there are some parts of us that are not healed yet. So we tend to carry these little parts of us, the wounded child, into our adult life. If you very really feel you believe it, there's a push. Not because of you wear really or strike or three. If the amulet really helps this way, there will not be any poor people. I had to find a way to remove fear. So I replaced fear with excitement. So every time I see a ghost now, I no longer reel back like how I was. I, oh my God, let's go! Welcome to Spiritual Circle. I work as a holistic like consultant. Also, I help people to find solutions and devise like strategies for their life. We look at their uh, physical, uh, their emotional, um, as well as their energy and their mental sort of like states. First of all, let's check your aura. Okay. Yeah. So to start, okay, you can place your thumbs on the sensor, and then now take a photo of yourself. Here we go. Today, you're actually in quite an expressive mood, but okay. there's also quite a lot of like um, a hard like energy. We want to work on uh, not just checking like uh, your psychic abilities, but also on your expression as well as your receiving energies. Lots of stuff you want to express. <laughs> Some stuff that you want to say that you feel you can't say yet. PSLE, okay, I was top 5%, went to a good school, secondary school, went to a good JC, went to NUS. Up till now, you will see that, like, it's a very pragmatic role. Just as I thought everything was, like, going super well, I had a fallout with, like, a business partner. The fallout was a relationship sort of like fallout and it led to me incurring a huge loss on my business. So because of that, I realised that actually there is something more to just looking at the materialistic because the fact that I couldn't make sense of, of how the other party would also be agreeable to lose their money in order to make me suffer. One of my really like good friends, like he was the one that first introduced me to the whole concept of like energy. He said to me, "Why don't you go to Egypt? Temple of Atfu actually belongs to um, a Horus, and Horus governs the third eye." Five minutes into the meditation, I suddenly felt like what felt like a thunderbolt entering like my third eye. Until I couldn't even stand still, my friend said, "Are you okay?" Then the moment she came into contact with the energy, she started having massive like hiccups for about a minute. Um, like, physically, I was seeing colours around everyone. A boy saying to me, uh, now you can see, so go and do what you need to do. So Ling, how do you feel? Um, I felt like there was a lot of energy. Even now, my hands are still tingling <laughs> with energy. So it's like super charged up. You have moved from like, like a state where your energies are not very erratic into a more aligned, more connected. So this is the energy that should show up whenever you're like very present, connected. You should aim for this. The previous relationship was the 10-year one, right? And I at some point thought he was the one. I initially thought a lot of that problem was with me. I'll pay like $5,000 to sign up for a course thinking that I should work on myself because I'm not good enough as a girlfriend. Therefore, he didn't want to settle down. Through all of that, I realised that actually the problem is in me. Yeah, and I was being unnecessarily hard on myself. So at that point when I saw you, I wanted to break out of it and make a different choice to be happy. So through the last one year, a lot of it was learning to, to find out what is it that I want 
versus what is it that people around me want from me. I think it's good like you're working like on yourself, but this time around you're working on yourself for yourself. Yeah. Instead of like previously when you're trying to work on yourself because you felt like you needed to meet up to certain expectation or to get somebody to like accept you or approve like of you. I really just had to get honest with myself. I was very lucky to grow up actually with my maternal grandmother and she actually always told me that if somebody reaches out to you for help, try not to say no. I had some challenges like with my family because, you know, this is something that they totally did not expect like from me. And, and it sounded like crazy and some people actually thought that maybe I was possessed. The moment you have access to senses that are beyond just our current like dimension, your whole perspectives will open up. So that means that intention and belief actually does impact growth, development, and also energy, you know. And it becomes like um, something that I need to do to help others to understand that this is real. It's just like, for example, we can't see wind, but we know that the wind is there. So there are some things that you may not be able to see, but actually, you know, it's, it exists and it's there. And moreover, with energies, most of us actually can feel energies. How would you like to use your gifts? The world is in chaos now, okay? And many people are actually in confusion and they need help. So my main purpose is to make, uh, to, using my gifts, is to make spirituality, consciousness, awareness accessible. Okay. Uh, so, so that everybody can have an understanding of their own light energies, raise their own sort of consciousness, and it's only then that we can self-actualize and we can actually reach out and help like others. When you understand that, you instantly become empowered. And when you're empowered, you are now capable of great things so that we can, in a way, save the world and also save ourselves. Now just center yourself in your heart and open up your heart to everybody else in the circle and send out gratitude to all who have shared today, send them blessings, joy, and good wishes. And now as a circle, let's also send blessings out to all those who need it in the world in these troubled times. And we wish everybody love, light, laughter and blessings.